Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday. I figured it'd be a perfect time to start a vlog. This past weekend, we painted all three of our upstairs bedrooms and I will show you guys the process of that. I'll insert a few pictures or clips, but I'm gonna put the bedrooms kind of like back together and clean a little bit today. Um, I have the air fryer going. I have my lunch ready in there. I also just got back from my grandma's house. We helped her clean up and put all of her Christmas decorations away early this morning, so that was nice. But anyway, it is time to clean my house. I think I'm gonna have lunch first and then I'll get to clean it. So I have this really big framed print. I would honestly love to hang it up on this wall. And then I have this giant mirror that was in my room, but I really genuinely don't need that in my room. I should say Brian and I's bedroom. So I feel like I'm gonna put it just right over here because I would put it on this side, but the vent is right there. That doesn't seem smart to me. So and I also have, you can tell, a little twin bed here that just fell. So that needs to go back into Brian's bedroom. I think that fits perfect or just fine. Definitely have it up. That's a bit better. No idea how this fell. Trust me, I am just as disappointed as you are that Brian chose to paint his room purple. I'm seeing now that he has to get up closer to all the edges and finish that, but hopefully this isn't a huge deal that I'm kind of putting his room back together, but we'll see. I'm just, I cannot believe he chose purple. Like purple is the most disgusting color to me, but I voiced my opinion, but it is his room. He gets to choose whatever. We each have like our own room. I mean, you can call it like our own office or something, but we really don't use it as office space. Like mine has my makeup and a little desk in there. It's pretty much where just like I film my makeup um, makeup inspo and just like reels and stuff and I wanted it to just be a very neutral like white color so I could also film like Instagram reels and stuff in there because it was blue and I, again I'm not a fan of blue but ooh. Okay welcome back happy Tuesday. I just got a little package in the mail and I'm actually not 100% sure what it is. It just says from creator deck and it's a little bit ridiculous that I don't know what is being sent to me because I don't have a manager or anything or like a talent company so everything always goes through me so I don't know how I'm blanking on this but but I'm gonna open it and we're gonna find out together. I just found a little pair of eyelash scissors. That was so close to my face. I also woke up this morning with, I wanna say, just a very dry eye. My left eye was like a little red. It's going away now, thank goodness, because, you know, just probably like everybody else, everything runs through my head and I'm like, oh my God, do I have pink eye or something? I've never had that, but it sounds terrible. So anyway, <laughs> luckily it's going away. Okay, here we go. Okay, it is, okay. In the back of my mind, I had this idea Idea that it was Redken that I remember talking to them a while ago. I cannot believe I'm getting a package from Redken. That is like a household name. I have known that it's in salons, it's everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So this is like perfect timing for me because I, I ran out of all my like conditioner and I'm searching for a new shampoo. Okay, they sent me the All Soft Conditioner um, Acidic Bonding Concentrate 5 Minute Liquid Mask need, need, and then this is probably the other, yes, this is the All Soft Shampoo. So moisturizing shampoo, definitely something that I need if you can see how brittle my hair is right now. And then what is this? The Acidic Bonding Concentrate, leave-in treatment. They sent me a little bit of everything here. Hi Hannah, we can't wait for you to try some of our fave products. Let us know what you think. Cheers to gorgeous healthy hair in 2024. XOXO Redken. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Thank you Redken. This is a very nice PR box. It's fun. This is like typically what they look like as well. They send you a little background of the products too. And then it's always a very nice touch when companies send like a handwritten note. It's actually like, it just feels very nice. Thank you so much, Redkin. So my amazing mother just came over and we took a walk around the neighborhood. It is so nice out lately in Minnesota. Last week it was, it felt like with a wind chill of like negative 30. And this week we finally have some nicer weather. So I came back from the walk 
walk to an outcast clothing package and i'm so excited to show you guys i'm gonna do i think like a little lookbook on my instagram and then i want to do like an entire outcast clothing try on haul on youtube just like a dedicated try on haul like not a part of a vlog just all of that because they have sent me like three other sets as well so i want to show you guys what they sent me some very cute and may i add daring items so this is a dress it's like a corset dress corset and then it has a long maxi like skirt attached to it they did also send like a little undies that go with it because the skirt is see-through <laughs> it is mesh it's not like mm, no i was gonna say it's not crazy see-through it's crazy see-through but that's okay i am very excited about this piece it is a jumpsuit so it has like a leather paneling in the front where as you can see it kind of like cross stitches and ties and then a halter top where it also ties in the back this one is all over their instagram website like this is probably like a fan fave which i see why this is a really cute little set i'm so excited for this corset top it, it does seem a little small but thank goodness it's laced up so this is the way to do corset tops you can lace it up and it's not like set in stone the size you're able to kind of adjust it which i appreciate and then a very cute and daring skirt <laughs> there is a giant slit but again so cute and then lastly look at how cute this dress is this just screams valentine's day so it's corset and then it's in bodysuit with it because again this is so short i am a little worried to try these on i showed my mom and she's like i don't think i'd even try that on in the dark i <laughs> which was a great way to explain it because this is very daring and short and tiny and just it's cute nonetheless it's definitely picture worthy but do i have a place to wear it never anyway that is what i got from outcast clothing let me know down below if you guys want to see an entire try and haul i'm gonna do it at some point but let me know and i will get on top of it as long as you guys want to watch are you embarrassed oh my little princess kitty Happy Wednesday. So yesterday I got a few pieces in the mail that I purchased. I just always need like a very basic t-shirt or like a form-fitting top. These are from Shein. They were literally $4 each. So I'm like, okay, I can't pass this up. I have not been purchasing clothes for the last four, three or four months, which is, you know me, if you know my channel, it's rather crazy, but I have been cutting back on my spending because I have so much stuff and I don't need that much stuff. But these, I have only been purchasing what I absolutely need and again four dollars for each I was like okay I can spend the money okay so these are a part of their Shein basic line I don't know what happened I couldn't imagine myself ordering the wrong size for me but I got a medium I mean it fits fine but I wanted a little bit looser of a fit and a little bit longer I do have this shirt in purple so that's why I knew I would like them but this it's fine <laughs> it's a little bit more cropped than I would prefer but that's not a big deal it fits nice and I do love a good green the sleeves also aren't very tight at all which is nice that's why I like to size up lately and again I also like a looser fit but this works just fine okay now this is definitely more of what I was looking for you can see the added length this is a large I also don't know what happened but for the green it's a completely different material this one is like almost like a pure spandex which I love because it's very stretchy and then the other one was a mixture of like cotton and spandex so it wasn't as stretchy and a bit more see-through but I like this one a lot again brown chocolate brown it's just a very nice neutral color to have and it's not super crop I'm giving about an inch and a half of midriff which I'm fine with I feel like I'm still at that age that I can show off my tummy a little bit but again I like this one a lot much better fit and a little bit even looser on the stomach as well which I can definitely appreciate okay and thank goodness this one is just like the brown one so same fit same exact material and actually it was my fault on my end I messed up so this one the last two are she and bay and the green one was she Shein basic. So that was my misunderstanding. But anyway, the Shein Bay one is much better, much better quality as well. And I think cute colors. I should not tempt myself with purchasing more, but these are just very nice. I could see myself wearing these quite often. My pets have such weird personalities. Do you see Chip right now? I have a random pillow just sitting on the ground and he, of course, just decides to lay on it. And he looks so comfortable though. That's the cute thing about it. Chip, what are you doing, you little turkey? Oh my 
god. And then you see Hank and Macy just eyeing him. Hank is upset. <laughs> so today I really wanted to film my outcast clothing, clothing items that I just showed you guys yesterday. And that means doing my makeup and stuff. And I feel like I'm really struggling with acne right now. My face is just very inflamed. So I decided to use a mask. This is just the reversed mask. I don't even know besides the fact, but I feel like I just now need to wait a day or two and let my skin just calm down because I get in this mood where I'm just picking at my skin and I'm up close to a mirror like this close and I'm just looking at every little imperfection and I start picking and now of course it's red and inflamed and bumpy and it just looks horrendous and you know it's like open so now I feel like I just need to calm down for the rest of the day do other productive things and continue to film but I'm kind of bummed that I'm not gonna be filming my reels with outcast clothing, but again. So in the meantime, while I let this dry, I'm just gonna put away some of these new clothes that I got. And I just posted this one this morning on my story, but this is from Foxy Kind. They sent me a really nice, huge oversized sweater. This is a medium. Thank goodness I got a medium because look at that. I'm just drowning in it, but I love that for a sweater. And then I'm just gonna put away some of my outcast clothing items. I honestly like still might film for YouTube my outcast clothing try on haul because I truly don't really care. This sounds bad, but I truly don't really care like how I look, like how bad I look in my YouTube videos. And I don't necessarily look bad, but just I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup. And I'd rather have a really nice, really nice makeup on for my reels, but that's just me. Maybe I will end up still like doing that. I am very excited about these pieces though. They are very cute. I told you guys this yesterday, but my mom was just like kind of baffled and asking me where on earth would I ever wear that? They are rather risky. <laughs> However, they're just so unique and fun. Like it's hard not to want to wear them. And this is the one I am most curious about. I said this yesterday, but it's a halter. Looks like it's going to be rather short on me, but that's fine. A halter neck jumpsuit, if you will. Hey, welcome back. It is Thursday. Uh, I'm going mm, I'm going to my sister. She owns her own business. She is a licensed esthetician and she is going to curl and lift my non-existent lashes. God damn, these zits are pissing me off. They hurt because I picked at them. Mm. Anyway, I have to get gas first and then I'm gonna head over there. And the bottom ones look very pretty. Mm -hmm. We didn't really do a whole lot either, which wow. is kind of crazy. Okay, I just got back from getting my lashes curled and I came home to a package. And I know exactly what it is this time. I'm so excited for this. Foxy Bay sent me a huge package. I am so excited, you guys. So they sent me their super styler. This one is in rose gold. As you can see, it has like a heated round brush, a barrel for curling, and then also like a drying extension, I believe. So excited about that one. A bunch of clips. These are always a necessity. Also, just little clips that say iconic and foxy on them. If you can kind of see that. I'm smelling some like something very yummy, so I'm a little worried something might have spilled here. Yes, it definitely did. Actually, just barely. I feel like I just caught it in time. Okay, we're good, we're good. This is the heat protectant spray. It smells really good. It also has biotin in it, and it's sulfate and paraben free. That's definitely what you want. And then this is the dry shampoo. A hair mask, cause Lord knows I need it big time. And then, oh! This is the heated round brush. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is literally everywhere. I'm so excited. I actually do already have one, just like an Amazon like off-brand, so I'm very excited about this one. And then of course, a hairbrush. 
Okay guys, I just filmed a few reels and I just have to show you guys this jumpsuit. Oh my god. It fits like a glove, obviously. Like it literally feels like it was tailored to me. And guess what? The pants are on the ground. The pants are touching the ground. Oh my god. I have no idea when, if, where I'll ever wear this. It feels amazing to have the option to wear something like this. Anyway, I'm going to do a full Outcast clothing try on haul, but I just had to show you guys this. Wow. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, you definitely should. It's Hannah Garski.